I'm Atubo George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Oh, glory. We had a wonderful time yesterday. And I'm praying the Spirit of God that His grace and anointing will increase today. Listen, we've been teaching you about God's love, the character of His love. And, and listen, let Him just manifest His love to you right now. Praise God. Are you ready for today? Now, before we go into today's broadcast, let's call for that daily bread. Listen, the miracle can start from there, just like it did yesterday. Praise God. Oh, glory to thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Ooh, this is beautiful. Praise God. Are you ready right now? I don't know if you're feeling what I'm feeling right there where you are, but I pray, I pray this same anointing I'm feeling here right now. I pray you begin to feel it where you are. Yes, there's someone, your joy is being restored. There is, there is just a joy welling up. Yes, let it out, just let it out. You feel like laughing, don't, come on now, just let it out, praise God. Enjoy the presence of God. Enjoy the presence of God. Oh, glory. <laughs> Ah, le kuta li kande subra ela kusa pai gadai. Oh, blessed Lord Jesus. Someone, you're watching me. You, you didn't used to speak in tongues, but right now you're feeling something bubbling in your mouth. <laughs> Open your mouth. Go ahead, release it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's the language of God. Go ahead and speak it. Glory. I see, I see joy being released. I see joy being released. Now, listen, something is happening. Now, that same joy that is being released is bringing in healing, restoring your health. Things are happening right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, I, I, see, I see a heart condition being healed right now. A heart condition. There is a heart that something about the weakness of the heart heart. They say your heart is collapsing gradually. Hey, hear me. Uh, you already know something is happening in you right now. <laughs> Praise God. Ah, Now the energy of God is filling your whole system right now. You know, Paul said, if the spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in you. He, that same spirit will vitalize your mortal body by his spirit that dwells in you. The one who raised Jesus from the dead will vitalize, give life, restore your mortal body. How is he going to do it? By his spirit that is in you. So as you are feeling this, this anointing right now, as you're feeling this joy right now, I, I see someone, you're laughing and laughing. Hey, listen, as that is taking place in you right now, healing is restoration is taking place in your body. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see a lady, they've told you that you will not be able to give birth, you will not be able to um, conceive a child, something that has to do with yeast in your ovaries. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, there is, thank you, Lord Jesus. I see something about the surgery. Um, I'm trying to see if you've done the surgery or you haven't done the surgery. Yet. But this is this is what I'm, I'm seeing. You, you were supposed to go for a surgery. Um, now, Thank you, Holy Spirit. The, the anointing of God's Spirit is coming on you right now. And it's clearing everything that they have said they saw there. Can you believe God with me right now? Can you believe God with me right now? I command everything that is not right in your womb to dissolve and pass out right now. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I see another lady. Now it's becoming clearer to me. Now, I was actually seeing two ladies. So I was, now it's, I've seen the separation now. There is, there is, there is one you, you are told you need to go for surgery. There's another one I'm seeing you have already had surgery concerning something that, something about yeast. And I, I hope I'm getting it, getting the name right. I'm just saying what I've seen. I'm a medical doctor. Now, you've already had a surgery, but um, things are not just working out. Yeah, things are not just working out. But the anointing of God's Spirit is resting on both of you right now. Now, when I say both of you, I'm not just talking about two spirits. I was just saying, I, I wish you would call my name so I know I'm the one he's talking about. I'm talking to two categories of people right now. If you, if they told you that you cannot get pregnant because there's a presence of something like a yeast or whatever they call it in your ovaries and and someone else there's another group of people you've taken that out already but you're still not getting pregnant you've done that for maybe two years or there about and you're still not getting pregnant hey listen to me right now thank you holy spirit yes i though i see someone you've gone for the surgery but you have that even as i'm saying this you you have been thinking that the, there is something the doctor is not telling you. Maybe they tampered with your, your womb and they don't want to tell you the truth. Now forget all that. You have a father who loves you and who is ready to perfect all that concerns you. Are you ready for him right now? Do you know, do you realize we've not even called for that daily bread? Yeah, I think that's what we should do. Praise God. That's what's going to bring this healing. Praise God. Are you ready? Are you? A miracle is going to take place. Now, some of you are going to feel the anointing of God rest on you strong. Find a place to relax right now because I want to pray for you. Just find a place to sit down. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because the anointing of God's Spirit is going to come on you. And when it happens, just know that healing has taken place in your body. Just know something has happened. And if you want to take in, you are free to do so from now. Praise God. Are you ready? Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say this with me. Say, Father. I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. I call us a kelaba supradia. Oh, thank you for that anointing, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Mm. You are healed, says the Spirit of God. You are healed. And not just these ones with, 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 that I've mentioned. If you are sick, receive your healing. It's your benefit for today. <laughs> oh, not just for today, for tomorrow. But receive today so don't wait for tomorrow. Don't say, well, if I don't get it today, maybe I'll get it. Why are you not getting it today? He's giving it to you. So receive all his benefits. Now, do you realize something? We're reading the scripture yesterday. Mm. Mm. Do you realize he said in verse 5, Psalm 103, he says, who satisfies your mouth with good things? He satisfies. Mm. Do you know what it is to satisfy your mouth? He's not talking about food now. No. No. <laughs> He's talking about good news. Your mouth is full of good news. 
Anytime you open your mouth, say, you know, you know, you just call someone, and then the moment they see your call, they are thinking, wow, I'm sure he wants to tell me what has happened again. Praise God. Yeah, because every time you speak is a testimony that you're sharing. And now there are, you know, there are people who call your phone and say, oh, how much does he want to ask for again? Or they are people like, ah. He wants to tell me about his uncle's auntie's brother that is in the hospital now. They've not said anything, but because you know that their mouths are filled with evil reports. But God is filling your own mouth with good things. <laughs> God. Oh, yes, he's filling your mouth with good things. So every day, every day, let, let, let's agree. Can we agree for something today? Can you, can you agree with me? Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I release my faith with everyone standing in agreement right now. That before the end of this day, their mouth indeed will be filled with good things. <laughs> oh, glory. And, and guess what? Now, he didn't just say he's giving you good things. He said he's filling your mouth with good things. And when you begin to speak those good things, guess what happens to you? Your youth is renewed like the eagles. Oh, 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 the secret of me looking young is my mouth. The kind of things that my mouth is filled with. So if my mouth is filled with good things. And I begin to release those good things. My youth will be renewed like the eagles. I can actually be having a renewal of my youth. Whoa. So that everything they say is dying in my body. Can actually be renewed. Oh, oh, ah, <laughs> my youth is renewed like the eagle. But hey, it's not just to confess, Father, my youth is renewed like the eagle. Have you been releasing from your mouth the good things he has filled you with? Has he been filling your mouth with good things? Have you been receiving the good things he's been filling your mouth with? If you have, then begin to speak it up. You know, sometimes people say, hmm, let people not think every time I, you know, you know, there are people sometimes, you know, you, you know, you just have these people in church that every Sunday, they, they, they are, you know, testimony time, I have a testimony, I have a testimony. And then sometimes people get tired of those people. Like, is it every time you're sharing testimony? Don't let any man stop you. If he's filled your mouth with good things, Speak it. You know, now, you know, the way we have been conditioned to think, and which is very wrong, is testimonies are, I didn't have a job. Now I have a job. I was sick yesterday. Now I am well. I, I, whatever. I didn't have money yesterday to eat. At five o'clock, somebody knocked on my door and brought, as wonderful as those things are, the real truth about testimony is this. The Bible lets us know that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Now, what does that mean? When Jesus begins to put his testimony in your mouth, don't keep it to yourself. Because he is revealing to you about himself. And he is revealing to you who you are. Because the more of him you see, the more of him you become. So you, you are just there. And then you hear the Lord tell you something wonderful about himself. Do you know that's a testimony? So must I share it? Hey, you are not just sharing. You are prophesying. <laughs> oh, yes. You are pro you know, prophecy. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, brethren, brethren. The Lord is saying that somebody, ah, come on. 
Come on, come on. Didn't the Bible tell us that anyone who speaks should speak as the oracle of the Lord? Did he tell you what he is speaking? He is actually telling you anytime you open your mouth to speak. Speak as God's oracle. How do I speak as God's oracle? You are only God's oracle if the testimony has been revealed to you. If the testimony of Jesus has been given to you. And, and, and now it comes to your heart. Yaman Zakiyala. Jesus speaks to you and says, my son, my daughter, I have anointed you. And you heard that last night? Don't feel ashamed to stand before God's children today and say, hey, guess what, brother? I heard the testimony of Jesus last night and he said he has blessed me. Now, people may be looking at you and say, you have come again, you have come again. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. If they don't take it there, look for somewhere else to say it. And today, brothers and sisters, you don't even need to stand before a physical congregation. You use your phone. Update your status. Update it. Put there what the Lord has said to you. A lot of people will see it. You have many witnesses that will see it. Oh, you know, you know that's true. Praise God. You know that's true. They don't have to answer you. They don't have to reply it. But they've seen it. They are the witnesses. When it begins to manifest, guess what? They will begin to come to you one day. He used to say so. She used to say so. Praise God. But don't keep quiet. Don't let anyone shut your mouth. Because he's filling your mouth with good things. You are strong. You are battling. Listen, this is a battle. This is a, this is, this is a warfare. Fighting the good fight of faith. He fills my mouth with good things. I can't be quiet about it. I'll keep speaking it. I'll keep speaking it. Guess what? As I speak, I'm prophesying. As I speak, I'm prophesying. Oh, the Lord did something for me yesterday. I don't keep quiet about it. I'm testifying that he is good and he loves me. The more I testify, the more he makes it stronger. The more I testify, the more he makes it stronger. Oh, I, I had one mind, minor headache yesterday, but I just remember, you know what? I, I have got benefits to receive. So I said, Lord, I receive benefit of healing today and every other benefit. I bless you, Lord, and I know I've got benefits to come. I receive it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And then the headache left. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Brothers and sisters, you are testifying. And don't let anyone steal your testimony. The day the devil is able or succeeds in shutting your mouth, you start getting old. Because there is no renewal of your youth. It doesn't matter how old you are right now. You may even be listening to me and you're in your 80s. Bro, listening to me now. Can, can you just begin to expect the Lord to fill your mouth with good things? Stop saying all the bad things you've been saying. Begin to look up to the Lord. Lord what, what do you want me to say today? What would you have me say today? Brothers and sisters, if you begin to speak only what the Lord gives you to speak, guess what's going to happen to you? Your youth, every system of your body. Now, I've told you before on this broadcast, you know, scientists have discovered that the, the, the blood circulation of your whole system, of your whole body, is in your mouth. It's in your mouth. That's another day's talk, praise God. But you speak right. That's why the Bible says, if you want life and see good days, watch your tongue. Good days include good health. Watch your tongue. What have you been saying? Do you consider that the Lord is filling your mouth with good things? And begin to renew your youth like the eagles. I pray for you today, even as our time is up right now. Let your mouth be filled with good things today. Because of the love that God has for you. Receive it right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Woo! I love the anointing of God's Spirit. Go ahead and enjoy your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.